Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make the tanker smeltery because I had a hard time doing this and a lot of tutorials didn't explain the updated 1x12 version. It's not much different from the other, but I think we should get into it. So, here are the materials that you're going to need. I want to keep this tutorial relatively short, so here are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need 29 seared bricks, 2 faucets, 1 smeltery drain, I mean, you can have as many as you want. We, I guess we could do, we could do like two smeltery drains. So just put in two right there. So we'll do two smeltery drains. That's to make the casting basin, the casting table. So two smeltery drains, one casting table, one one casting basin, a smeltery controller, a seared tank, and some lop buckets, preferably more than one. So let's take all these out. And I'm going to show you how to build this. So the first thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to get your seared bricks. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're going to lay out this pattern right here. This is the basic smell tree right here. So you're going to lay that out, and then you're going to build 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So there you go. That's one part of it done. So now you're going to build up the two walls right here. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, then you're going to put in your seared tank right here. You can put it anywhere on here, I just prefer it to go right here. And you're going to fill it with lava. So now that you have your seared tank there, you can go ahead and put your smeltery drains right here. They don't have to be right here, they can be anywhere on the smeltery, this is just where I prefer them. And then you're going to put your casting basin down, your casting table right under these. And if you right click on them, nothing's going to happen. Well, not only because we're missing one piece and there's nothing in the smeltery, but also because you're missing a faucet. So you're going to put these faucets in. And those faucets will allow the liquids to drain into these and allow you to make castings. So now that you have that all done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in the smeltery controller. Now, when you have the smeltery controller in, you're going to notice if you did it right, that this is going to be on fire. This is what you want. You're going to want this thing to be lit up. So, I'll do it again, just to show you a version that isn't lit up. So if we do something like this and you put in the drain down here, it's not going to light up. And then you just put in all these. So if you do everything right, except put in the drain, so you put the seared tank in, you put the smelt, you put in the drains right here, and you put in the controller right here. It's not going to light up. You did something wrong. So once you replace the drain with the sear brick, it's going to light up. So then you can just put in the faucet right here. And this doesn't have to be with lava yet. You can put that in after, and it will still light up. So then you can put in your casting basin and your casting table, and got yourself the simple tinker's construct smell tree. Now, this is what you need to know for building it. So you need all these items right here, and that will get you the basic smell tree. You can make bigger variations of the smell tree, but this is just the basic, and I think this is all that you really need to use unless you're working with a huge group that really likes to smelt. Alright, now that you're familiar with how the things work right here, now you're going to move over to making the tables that you need for them. So, it's all going to start with a blank pattern. Make the blank pattern with two sticks and two of any wood. Some woods may not work if you're using different mod packs, but for the most part, most woods should work. You're going to move over to the uh, craft, like crafting station, not crafting table. So, <clears throat> to make the crafting station, all you really need is a crafting table in an inventory slot. And then you get yourself a crafting station. We're going to move over to the stencil table. Now all you need is a blank pattern and any kind of wood that will work. So some woods may not work, but most will. And then, then move over to the tool station. You do that with a blank pattern and a crafting table in it, and you will get a tool station. Then you move over to the part builder. The part builder is with oak wood, or any kind of wood actually. That will work. Some woods may not work also. And a blank pattern. And 
Once all these are made, this will be all you really need to make these simple kind of uh, patterns. So simple tools will need these. But once you move up to more advanced tools, you can make the advanced tool forge or just tool forge. And what that is, is just seared brick across the top, three, and then you just need blocks of iron. This is the cheapest way to make it. I believe you can use many blocks of metal like steel, but you can make them with iron. And then all you need is a tool station in the middle. So then that gives you your tool forge. Okay, so now, when you have the tables laid out like this, you will get a little pattern right here. We're going to be using the tool forge for this, but we could also use the uh, tool station right here. <clears throat> but any of these that you click on, you will see these up here. Now, what you can do with these is you can click on them and it goes to the different part. Much more efficient than moving over to this, moving over to this, moving over to this, moving over to this. And also, if you have a chest attached to it, you can also put in parts of blank patterns in here. But we're going to go over how to make regular parts. So, you're going to go into your stencil table and say we want to make, I don't know, a shovel. We'll make a shovel. So you're going to need this part, a binding, a, sh a tool rod, and a shovel head. So you're going to move over to your <clears throat> stencil table. You're going to go ahead and you're going to grab a shovel head. That's all you need. And then you're going to go over to this and you're going to make a tool rod. Then you're going to go over here and then you're going to make a binding. Where is that binding? Right here. You're going to make the binding. So now you've got all these. Now you're going to move over to your part builder. And you're going to put this in. And then you're just going to put in stone. And then out comes a stone binding. You're going to put in your tool rod. And this will take one as well. And then you're going to put in this right here. And then you're just going to put in two stone. And there you go, you've got yourself the parts right here. Now, we're going to move over to the tool forge right here. And I believe, in yes, in this chest we have the castings that we need. Now, what a lot of tutorials don't mention is that you need to make a certain type of metal to actually be able to smelt these. So, to make that metal, you're going to need copper. We're just going to put in nine and tin. Or no, it's aluminum. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I messed up that. Where is it, tin? No, it's aluminum. Oh, sorry about that, it's aluminum. So you're gonna grab aluminum ingots. And, well this is gonna make bronze, but you're gonna put in your copper right here. We're gonna put in nine. And then you're gonna put in your aluminum. I was gonna make it out of tin. That's right. So, when you put that in, you're gonna get aluminum brass. Aluminum brass is what you need to make the castings. If you do it with any other thing, it's not going to work. That's what I was having trouble figuring out before, was that you needed specifically aluminum brass. So now that you have your aluminum brass, you're going to click it to the bottom. It doesn't matter if you do it right away, it's still going to fill up. So once you have your aluminum brass at the bottom, we're going to turn it to day real quick. So then, you're going to put your casting, or you're going to put your little binding or tool head into the casting table. You're then going to be sure that you have the aluminum brass on the bottom and then you're going to click the faucet. Once it hardens, you then have casting. You're going to do that with all these and you're going to wait until you have all the castings that you need for your part. Now you can now you don't get the, the stone back, you only get the castings back, which is fine. But then, when you put the shovel head in, you can then switch it to anything you want. So we're going to do bronze. So, you can put any metal in here that you want. So, we're just using bronze as an example. So, you take that out, you have a bronze shovel head. Now, you can also put in anything you want. So we can put in even, just, we can make copper, we can, we can put in iron in here, it does not matter. Unless there are some ores that don't accept being in here, you can put any ore you want in here. And this thing will slowly fill up, which you probably have more than enough space with this. But once the iron is smelted, 
You can then select that and you can go ahead and make more of these. Now the nice thing about the Tinker's Construct is that you give these binding cast back. So you get the cast back. And you can just store these in the chest right here. But we'll take that back out. So now that the iron is smelted in there close enough, you're going to then get a red liquid right here, which is the molten iron. You can then select the molten iron on the bottom. And you can put your binding in here, or you can put anything in here, and that'll fill up with the iron. So once that cools, you take that out, you take the binding out. And then you just put in your tool rod, you can put anything you want. We'll put copper. It does not matter. As long as it goes in there, you can make it. We'll take that out, and we just take that there. Now, we're going to head over to our... We can either head over to the tool station, or you can go over to the tool forge. I'm assuming that you will probably have a tool station, so we'll probably stick at the tool station. You're going to click on the shovel, and then you're just going to put these in. And out comes your shovel. You can make that. This is your shovel that you can make now. So you can make any variation that you want of shovel, of anything. So if you get over to the tool fort, you have much more of what you can make. You can make hammers, you can make hatchets, you can make just a ton more. You can make short bows, long bows, crossbows, just everything. So that's pretty much the basic tutorial on how to really use Tinker's Construct. I will probably make another tutorial on the advanced mechanics of it. So if you do have an advanced tool for it, you can stay in for that. It's just the same as doing this, but yeah, just it's just a little bit more difficult to do. So stay in for that, and thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and goodbye. Yeah,